All right, ready? Go. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. All right. All right. Oh, no. Oh, keep oh, it up. You're up. Good. Oh. oh. If you guys aren't familiar with flight tests, uh, we love designing foam board airplanes. They're basically airplanes that build out of common materials, and we put out free plans for everything we design. For this challenge here, we're gonna be making the Twin Sparrow. The thing we love about the Sparrow is it's actually super easy to build. It teaches every technique that we use to build over 50 of our designs, and you can use it as a chuck glider, as a two-channel glider, or as a three-channel powered RC plane as well. So today, we're gonna build the version two of the Sparrow. We're gonna paint one up all like Toothless and the other one like Stormfly. Now, one thing we're always inspired by is our awesome community. GoatBoy29 actually designed a huge foam board Toothless that looked really scale, and 8 Koopa took the Sparrow itself and painted it up like Toothless. These two gentlemen really inspired us to do this project. One thing we're really passionate about is getting people in the hobby economically and in a way that's repeatable. Now oftentimes you're gonna crash an airplane if you're learning how to fly, but when you build out of common materials, you fall in love with the building process every bit as much as you fall in love with flying. And this is really cool because this plane was specifically designed to not only teach people how to build, but also how to fly, and hopefully also how to create a really fond memory with your friends and loved ones. So every technique that we have here is repeatable. So that way when you build a couple, you know exactly how to build all of them. Now not everyone has time for plans and to cut out all the pieces by themselves. We also carry something called a speed build kit. And what the speed build kit does is it cuts your build time in over half. Also, it gives everything as precision, which means it'll fit together real tight and it'll fly beautifully. Now these speed build kits even go into high schools and elementary schools through our STEM program and gives people the ability to build quickly and have a lot of fun. It's a great solution for one evening to make a memory with friends or loved ones. Now, what we need to do before we fly this, we're gonna chuck it around like a chuck glider. We need to put a little bit of weight in the nose that way it'll glide right. You learn a lot. Indeed. Oh yeah, the Look, sweet spot has been found. <laughs> Let's go outside. All right, you're gonna go long. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. That's why they make replaceable noses. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be handing this dented plane off to Chad. He's <laughs> gonna make one look like Toothless. I'm gonna build a second one. He's gonna make it look like Stormfly and show you how to do it. Chad. Yo, catch. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna throw a black base coat on this and then I'm gonna show you a couple painting techniques to make this really look like a dragon. Okay, the base coat's done. Now I'm gonna show you how to paint scales on the plane. What I'm using for this is I'm actually using paper towel. Since it has the little dimples on the paper towel, that'll actually help us give the texture we want. I'm using an airbrush, but you don't have to. You just have to use some type of an aerosol black paint. Since this is flat black, I'm using a gloss black, so it'll have a higher contrast, so it won't be really loud, but it'll just be really subtle. You're just gonna put some paint on the paper towel and make sure it's kind of heavy, but not extremely like dripping off. And while that's still kind of nice and wet, dab them on. If you want to, you can just push a little harder for the paint to come off a little stronger. And you can always vary this by a different shade of color or you can just stick with the black on black. This is a really easy paint scheme that you can do on different planes with using different types of stuff like this as long as it gives you a texture. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the horns on Stormfly. I'm actually using a material called Instamorph. It's a moldable plastic. So as soon as you put these little beads into hot water, they will kind of morph into one big piece of plastic. This is really useful for add-ons like horns, teeth, any little bumps you want to do. And when it comes out, it's obviously quite warm, but then you can just kind of mold it in, squeeze all that water out. Now I'm going to do this kind of like dough. I'm going to kind of roll this out. And you can keep doing this over and over again. Just by getting it hot in the water, it will keep morphing back into a solid piece of plastic. And as this thing cools, I can just get a palette knife and just kind of put a little bit of lines in there for a little bit of realistic so it doesn't look like a piece of shiny plastic. The cool part about Instamorph is it's also sandable and paintable. Even after you get to the stage you want, you can refine it even more with a knife, sandpaper, or really whatever you'd like. And there it is. Now we can spray a base coat of paint on it and then we can go through with details to make it a little bit more realistic and make it look a little bit like ivory. If you like this kind of stuff, we actually are doing some more in-depth videos on things like this on our Flight Test Tech channel. 
So if you want to jump over there and subscribe, and I'm going to finish these up, and I'm going to send them back over to Josh and Alex so they can go fly them. All right, so we got them all painted up here. Chad did a killer job. He crushed it. These things look awesome. I got toothless. What's yeah. yours? Uh, this is Stormfly. Awesome paint job, and I love the Instamorph details. That's pretty cool. So we got a lot of wind today, um, but that never stops any dragons from flying. So we're going to go ahead and put these RC planes to the test and see what happens. <laughs> Let's do it. Dude, they look oh incredible. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> crazy quads and crazy wind. Dude, it doesn't even care. It really doesn't. Like, you can definitely feel the wind, but considering how small these planes are, you sh they shouldn't be flying this good in this yeah. amount of wind. It's like crazy. Are I can't you... believe how well it's doing. It's gotta yeah. be 15 mile an hour winds oh, today. Dude, it's kind of like the real uh, How to Train Your Dragon. You I get... like the flat spins. Look at that. Oh, I want to do one. Yeah, you got differential thrust on them. Whoa! <laughs> dude, the flat spins are real, dude. That's so cool. Isn't that so crazy? Cool. Just, just as flat as you want. I don't know why I've become so obsessed with flat spins. It's just been awesome. All right, I'm going to bring mine in for a landing here. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you guys something really cool here. We got a lot of really great feedback from the people that built the sparrows in the past, but also the dart. Yes. And what we did with the sparrow on version two here is we made a removable nose. Nice. And if you fly like yeah, me, awesome. you can build extras of these, put FPV on it, or just have a replacement for when you crash it. But now the battery just slaps right in the front. Yeah, if you have a bad landing, normally the first thing to get banged up is the nose. So exactly. it's nice, you can pop it off, build a new one, and pop it right back on there. Exactly, it's super easy to build. We can even mount this battery underneath. And that way, if we have an FPV pop on the top, we're good to go. You don't even need to fly it with the nose on it. And along with that, with the dart, we took some really great feedback. The nacelles were kind of weak. Yes. So we went ahead and we made full plywood nacelles now, like you see right here. And that gives it the ability to be much more durable. All right, so now that we've got our bearings down, we got yeah. the planes trimmed in, they're flying good. It's time to take it to the next take level. Take it to the next level. And it's fun to have competitions with these planes, especially with friends. It originally started that we wanted to fly like toothless. Then it turned into, well, they spit fire. Turned into get goats and sheep. A little something we like to call Dragon racing. Now we have balloons, sparklers, FPV pods. It's crazy. This right here, this is the same FPV pod that goes in the dart. It fits perfectly. The chat design, free STL files. We printed this with our laws bot. Or you can go ahead and make a little mini spit cube like I have here, and you can mount it pretty much anywhere you want. First person to pop the balloon the fastest, hopefully with the sparkler still going, wins. We're connected by fire. There we go. Ah. Awesome! Uh, <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> oh, 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 wow, my fly is really good. <laughs> Here we go. Dude, Can you do it? It actually handles this, this little bit of wind. Dude, it, it likes yeah. it. Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> How was it? That was, that was sick, cool. dude. Dude, I see the powder. Ooh, Ooh, dang. I'm coming at us, bro. Oh, they're both coming at us. Oh, oh, no! Oh! Oh! I'm down. I gotta go, 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 go. This is my. <laughs> Oh, this is amazing! Sparkles, no sparkle. No. Oh, dang it! Oh man, I get it! <laughs> yes! That was fun. Well, here's the cool thing about this: whether it's one sheet of foam and a chuck lighter and an awesome memory between you and your child, or it's all the way FPV, twin motors, racing Toothless. around, crazy challenges. This thing is a great solution. It has a lot of history, a lot of fun stories about it. If you want to build a new version of our FT Sparrow. Free plans and also the speedboat kit are in links down below. Check the links below if you guys want to check out the build video, the build yeah. article. Everything that we do in our videos, we're going to try our best to link down below. So make sure you check those out. Hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time.